everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. Last week's episode followed my fossil hunt down on the Jurassic Coast. But as I was driving home from the Jurassic Coast along the A30, I found myself thinking something that we've probably all thought before. But do you know what? It really frustrates me whenever I hear others say it. I found myself thinking, I wish somebody would do something about the litter along the A30. But then, as I've said in my previous Tune In Tuesdays and in the words of Pat Smith, I am somebody. Why wait for somebody, whoever that is, to go and do something when I am somebody and I can go and do it? So for this week's Tune In Tuesday, I've decided to drive along the A30, stopping at laybys and litter picking them as I go. I'm going to start at Fradden and drive all the way to Bodmin and back again. The reason that I'm only doing this small stretch of the A30 is because this is a main road and I've never litter picked a main road before so I have to keep my safety and others safety as a main priority so I'm just going to trial this first on this small stretch on these laybys just to see how I go but this small stretch should give us an idea of the scale of the bigger litter issue on the A30 so let's go see what I can find. So I've just done my first lay-by and when I first got here I thought it looked pretty clean actually but there were so many cigarette butts, so many dog poo bags and so many used wet wipes, it was so disgusting. I managed to fill a whole bin bag so now I'm just thinking about what's next to come. So that's another bag done on this lay-by. This one was particularly bad for fast food wrappers from McDonald's, but also I found my very first on my second lay-by, human poo. And it was either a really big baby or... I've just finished my third lay-by and this one I got two bin bags filled of litter and this one was so bad because even though it looks like it might be quite clean a whole load of stuff had fallen down the verges there was loads that I had to dive down and get to including a lot of bottles of urine so I've made it to Bodmin now and I've turned all the way around and heading back along the A30 back the way I came but stopping at the laybys to do the litter pick. So I've stopped at my fourth one now and let's see how much I can find here. Okay, so I finally finished my fifth lay-by and I'm absolutely exhausted. I got five 
huge bin bags filled with litter out of that one. It seemed that there was a bit of a ditch along the side of the lay-by which was completely filled with all sorts of disgusting stuff. A lot of feces, probably both human and animal. It was just awful. Bottles of urine and then just standard litter, you know, single use food packaging. So I'm really pleased that I've managed to get it out, but I'm absolutely exhausted now. I'd say I've probably got one more lay by to do before I get back to Fradden. So I'm gonna keep going and see how much more litter I can get out of that one. Okay, so I've just arrived at my final lay by, lay by six, and this huge bank of fog has just come down. So I don't think it's really safe to stay here too long. I'm just gonna pick up these bits that I can see here, but I'm not gonna hang around here too long because the fog is really bad and it could cause an accident. Okay, so that's my sixth and final lay-by complete. And I managed to get one bag of litter out of this one. But as I said, it's a little bit foggy, so I didn't want to risk hanging around here too long because it's always safety first when you're doing stuff like this. I cannot really comprehend how I've only done six lay-bys of a very small stretch of the A30, which is just the A30. That's not even considering all of the other roads around the UK, around the world. And I got 11 bags of litter. Today I found things ranging from stuff that could have been recycled or stuff that really couldn't have, bodily fluids or other disgusting things like that. It really was horrendous. But the message from this video isn't that I want you all to go start putting yourselves at risk some litter pick main roads like this one. It's just that when you're out and about for this summer holidays or whenever, just please do not litter out of your car window. Our rubbish is our responsibility and it's up to us to dispose of it properly. So thank you so much for watching this week's Julian Tuesday video. I'm sorry it was a little bit gross, but I will see you next week for next week's episode.